Hey guys, I hope you are all doing really well. So today I have yet another autumn clothing haul. I don't usually do two clothing hauls in one season, but I feel like autumn is just such a huge change in the season and it's always so exciting for fashion. So I thought I would share some more pieces with you guys and you can just take it as a bit of inspiration or if you are looking for some new items for your wardrobe, then I hope you guys find this video helpful. I'm not gonna do this haul in the same style that I usually do my hauls. I'm gonna obviously try everything on for you guys, but I'm going to, instead of doing it shop by shop, I'm going to do it by my favorite pieces that I have just picked up. Um, and to be honest, I love all of these, but some of them just don't suit me as much as they would suit someone else. So yeah, let's get straight on into this haul. So the first item I have is a pair of Converse. I haven't ordered a pair of trainers or Converse for that fact for a long time. I've been quite happy with my Air Force Ones, but I'm sort of falling out of love with those now. And I kind of feel like I wanted something a little bit prettier. So I was very excited when I found these on ASOS and they were in the sale. Hopefully they're still in the sale for you guys, but they look like this. And I just think this is such a beautiful shade. It's sort of like a plum color, I'd say, but like a real muted plum. I think they say purple online, but they're in their 70s Chuck Taylor style. And these Converse, when I tried these on, they are so much more comfortable than my like original Converse. Not too sure why, like the sole inside is super squishy and comfy and I managed to get them in a five and a half, which I was very happy about. I love it when they do half sizes. I was actually really worried that they weren't gonna go with anything, but they actually match the leggings I'm wearing right now, <laughs> which I find funny and they match a few other things in this haul. So clearly I didn't have anything to worry about with this color. I think it's gonna be quite a popular colour this season. Next up I have a cardigan from H&M. I actually showed this one in my last haul but in a different shade and they've recently bought it out in this really gorgeous, I don't even know the words I would use to describe this colour. I'd say it's like a dark dusky pink maybe. Again it's in their wool alpaca blend which I am obsessed with and I've been really loving my other cardigan in the same colour. I picked this one up in the small and the other one I have was in an extra small and I was kind of hoping when it arrived I wasn't going to like it because I didn't want to keep it um, but then I saw it next to my new Converse. I just can't resist a good matchy matchy knitwear and shoe. <laughs> I also had a little browse on Zara Kids the other day because I actually have a knitted vest from Zara Kids from last year that I really love and the biggest size I ordered was actually too big so I tried ordering again from Zara Kids and I'm going to show you everything I bought in this video but only one thing actually fitted properly. I have pretty long arms which is often my problem with tops so obviously kids wear is not going to be long enough in the arms usually. However, this polo neck was. So this is from Zara Kids and this is size 13 to 14. And this actually fits really nicely. The sleeves are plenty long enough. And the only thing that I don't like as much is that it's quite like a boxy fit. It's not super fitted, but I think I could probably take in the sides a little bit just to make it a little bit more fitted. But it's in this super cozy waffle-like fabric that's gonna keep me nice and warm and guys guess what it matches my converse <laughs> i actually thought this would look really nice with this cardigan over the top if you look at it like that so that was the good thing i found from zara kids so i'll show you the rest of the zara kids stuff at the end the things that didn't work out quite so well um but next up i have this amazing jacket from Mango. This style of velour faux fur jacket seem to be really in. And this one's just such a gorgeous color. It looks really rich. So I picked this up in a size small and it actually has little buttons. Like usually on these coats, they just have little hooks, but I like the fact that it actually has buttons. Um, so yeah, I thought this was a really lovely jacket for autumn, winter. Just a nice, really easy jacket to style. Then something spurred me on to have a look on River Island. I'm not sure what it was. Probably an Instagram advert, let's face it. <laughs> and I actually found a few things I liked. So the first one is this pair of trousers 
and I loved the waistband. It's got this real sort of Isabel Moran vibes going on with the waistband and then it's got two big tuck pleats and then it just goes down into these long trousers with a really nice turnover hem. Not many trousers actually have this sort of detailing at the bottom, they often just finish them off. Um, but it actually adds a really nice weight to this end of the trousers. The back's the only thing I don't like as much, it's just this sort of like elastic, I think it looks quite... like it just ruins it from really nice sleek to elastic, but I can look past that as the waistband is so beautiful. They're in a very interesting colour, like this colour could never ever go near my face. <laughs> it would definitely have to be in trousers, but this could be really easily styled with a white long sleeve underneath, and like a tight jumper or even with like a slouchy cardigan over the top I think it would be a really nice pair of trousers to style up in autumn and winter and also when you've got like really loose trousers like this you can put thermals underneath really easily or tights and they don't show so that's another good thing with this because my legs get so cold in jeans or anything in the winter so when I have items I can layer underneath is very good time. Also from River Island I found a pair of beautiful flared jeans. This is the sort of colour denim I think would go so nicely with this cardigan colour and they're a really good length on the leg. I used to actually be obsessed with River Island jeans. They do do very good jeans but they are quite expensive. So I just went for a size 8 regular and again the bottom of the trousers are finished so nicely. I love a good thick turn up hem at the bottom of trousers, especially flares. Got a good amount of pockets for jeans. They're not super high-waisted, like on the website they looked a lot more high-waisted. Um, so that was a bit of a disappointment, but I can look past that because I don't really need these flares to be super high-waisted. Then while we're on the topic of denim, I've actually been on the hunt to find sort of like the perfect boiler suit. I don't actually own a denim boiler suit, I own dungarees, but I've always wanted a really nice boiler suit. So I have three in this haul and I'm gonna decide which one I prefer the most. Um, so the first two are from Mango. This one is in a bit of a lighter denim compared to the other two. And this one fits so nicely. It's got poppers all the way down the front and then a tie in the middle and then it just goes into a straight leg at the bottom. Um, from what I remember trying this on it was really flattering at the bum. I find it really tricky to find flattering boiler suits because when I sit down and stand up they often have that sort of like second bum <laughs> and obviously that is not a look. So this was a strong contender from Mango and this was actually in the sale so it's a bit cheaper than the other two I'm about to show. So yeah let me know what you guys think of this one. And then the second one from Mango, it's in a colour I really love but I'm just not 100% sure I'm going to keep this one. Um, this I think this was about £60 which is very expensive but when you think about it it's a pair of jeans and a top. But this one has a very 80s shape about it and it's got some pleats in the middle. This one doesn't have elastic around the middle which I think would have helped keep the shape of this one a bit more but this one has much more of a slouchy look. Yeah I like it but I'm just not 100% convinced it's going to stand the test of time with me sitting down and moving around as much as I do. I'm just such a wriggler. <laughs> we shall try it on and see what we think again. And then I might as well show the third boiler suit um, while we're at it. This one is from Zara and I kind of feel like this one might be the winner. This one again was £60, but this one has a much tighter fit to the body. It's got a real 70s vibe about it, which obviously I'm going to love. <laughs> and the trousers are in this sort of wide leg style, which is not my favourite for boiler suits. I would have preferred it if it were just a straight leg and a little bit longer, I think. I still really love this one and I think at the moment this is probably my favourite out of the three. I'm kind of undecided, so please leave a comment and let me know which one you prefer on me. When I ordered my Converse from ASOS, I had this dress in my saved items on ASOS and I thought I'll give it a go. Um, I think it's from their unisex 
section and it's in this really lovely like washed grey effect and I do find the whole no sleeve style quite flattering on my really big shoulders <laughs> so we'll see it obviously won't be very warm but you could layer underneath this really easily I'm going to finish off this haul with Zara items so this is the last one from the adult section <laughs> and it's this beautiful little holdall bag in a tan shade and I really, really love Zara bags that are this sort of size because they're the perfect size between a tiny bag and a huge bag. When I'm going out and about, I can fit like a water bottle and a few other bits that I wouldn't be able to fit in my little bags. Um, I think it has, yeah, it has a strap that I can attach if I want a long strap and it's got a little pouch inside to keep my things in, which is always nice. It's just a really nicely well thought out bag and it was only 30 pounds. I think that's a pretty good price for a really nice bag like this. So I'm very tempted to keep this. These are the Zara Kids items that very, very sadly do not fit me. <laughs> well, actually this is the only item that really does not fit me. Um, and it is this little floral ruffly blouse with little lace trim. How cute would this have looked if it fitted? But my shoulders are just way too wide. Um, so that one didn't work out, but so beautiful. If you're really petite, it might work for you. So I will link it down below anyway, if you're interested. And then the next thing from Zara Kids was this sort of fleecy wool looking shirt in this really nice camel colour and to be fair I actually don't think this colour looks very good with my skin anyway so it was kind of a no but the sleeves are just too short for this. I mean you can easily find an adult version of this shirt but now that I know the colour doesn't work I'm not going to bother. <laughs> and then the final thing I have from Zara Kids is a pair of brown boots. These actually fit they are a size 5, they actually go up to a size 6. It's a really gorgeous pair of brown Chelsea boots, but I don't think I'm going to be keeping these because the top bit is pretty wide compared to my leg. Like my leg stops about here maybe, and then it, there's just this gap, which I don't really like very much. Um, which also surprises me because I'm like, how can kids have chunkier legs than adults but I guess maybe I don't know so yeah really sad that these are too wide at the top so there we have it those are all of the new autumn finds I have found recently I hope you guys enjoyed this let me know in the comments down below what you think your favorite item is and yeah I will see you guys all in my next video bye <music>